Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So are you ready for your mini routine for today? So we're gonna start standing. So I highly recommend that you have a wall, just rest against the wall so that you really can feel your posture. Smooth your knees when you go against the wall and move your hands on your tummy. So we're gonna do the breathing here just to help us to start because we're starting today standing. So close your eyes and just concentrate on your breathing. Feel the movement of your tummy, your ribs expanding. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. And we're gonna do the sensation to fog in a glass. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. With that sensation that you want to fog your sunglasses. One more time, inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna keep our mouth closed. Remember that this is called Ujjayi breath. You always can go to the common mistakes in yoga to understand more the Ujjayi breath. And watch the video of Ujjayi breath. So with the Ujjayi breath, we are contracting our epiglottis to control more the speed and the air coming in and out, okay? You can use it, or you don't need to use it. The only thing we're gonna try to avoid is inhale just with the nose and exhale. <sighs> You know, that there is no control in the diaphragm. What we are trying to do is to have more control and understanding of the diaphragm. So we're going to inhale through the nose this time, exhale through your nose with that sensation of fog in a glass. So you will feel that little contraction in our throat, but it's the epiglottis. Okay? If you still don't get it, don't worry. Just breathe normally and calm. Try to don't overuse your nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, great, try to make it a long and deep, that will help, uh, will help us for the mind to stay in the present moment, but also will help us to release our muscles and stretch our muscles without pain. Let's start, so we're going to come at the top of the mat, and remember here, don't try to be flexible. It's not about flexible. It's about releasing our body, have a nice stretch. Ready? So we're going to go spine roll. So stand up with the same with hips, feet, and, and knees. And then from here, we go inhale, exhale, spine roll. You can bend your knees to really release your spine. Let the head drop. Drop your hands just beside your feet. Inhale, and exhale, roll up your spine. Great. Now we roll our shoulders backwards for four, three, two, and one. Again, inhale, exhale, spine roll, bend your knees if you feel too much tension at the back, and also your torso cannot go too low, bend your knees. Inhale at the end, exhale, roll up your spine slowly. Roll your shoulders backwards again for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, spine roll, bending your knees. Inhale at the end, exhale, roll up. Roll your shoulders backwards for three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, spine roll again. Connect the movement with the breath. Inhale at the end, and exhale, roll up. And roll your shoulders backwards, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to start with warrior one. So we're going to step backwards with the left foot. As back as you can keep the heels on the ground. You can keep your feet facing forward. If you open your foot slightly to the side, make sure that your hips remain square. Doesn't matter how far, make sure that you don't force your joints, you don't force your 
uh, muscles neither. We bend the front knee above the ankle, but the weight remain on the back leg. Now we're gonna move the palms together and lift your arms as far as you feel comfortable. And just press your feet against the ground, engage your tummy, we hold four breaths. Inhale, exhale. Let's go for three, two, Align your body by feeling the middle line of the body. And just one more. Move your arms at the back, interlace your fingers, open your chest, inhale, and exhale, fall forward. We hold for four, press strong with your feet and your big toes to give you more stability. Inhale deep, and exhale, drop your head if you feel comfortable. Let's go for two, exhale, just one more, and exhale. inhale, stretch your back, push the ground, and raise your torso. Move your hands at the middle of the chest, prayer position, and we're going to twist toes to the right leg, to the legs at the front. We just twist without forcing, keeping your hands middle of the chest. We hold for four breaths, inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And always press with your big toes to give you stability. Just one more. Inhale. Ah, it's good. It feels good. Release. Move your legs together. And we're going to change. So if your foot is facing too much to the front, you might not go too low with the hips. If you want to go lower on your hips, you need to kind of open more your foot onto the side to allow you to really go down. This is only if you really have flexibility and you feel comfortable. If not, just keep it short. Then we're really feeling nice stretch in our leg and that's the most important. Now from here, we bend the front knee, engage our tummy, palms together, move your arms up. Lift your tummy, stretch your tummy, we hold four breaths. Inhale, pressing your hands each other. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Slowly move your arms at the back, interlace your fingers, and we're going to lean forward as far as we can into humble warrior. Still keep your front knee bent. Inhale and breath with your feet to find stability. Let's go three. Two. And one. Push the ground, inhale. And exhale, raise your torso. Good. Move your hands, pray position at the middle of the chest. We twist toes to the left. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Back to center, move your legs together. Super, now we're gonna squat, keep the same with hips, knees and feet, and we're just gonna squat, ready? So we squat as far as we can go, maybe some of us we can just go here, it doesn't really matter, give it time to your body, or some of you can go all the way. We hold for four, three, two, And just one more. We go forward, bend, dropping the hands beside your feet and here. If your torso is very far away from your legs, bend your knees. Don't force the legs. Make sure that you really lean forward. Doesn't matter. It will give you more flexibility in the future. But if you push your tail, you extend your legs and your torso is away, it's only going to hurt your ligaments, your tendons. So give it time to your body. So we hold forward, bend. We hold for four. Inhale. 
and let's go for three. Two and just one more. As soon as you can keep your hands on the ground and lift the chest and straight your back. Some of us we need to move the hands in the lower leg to really feel our back straight. As well, we can bend the knees to really feel the lower back super straight. Watch the ground and we hold four breath, really feeling your back straight and get your tummy. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Now drop your hands in front of your feet. Step by our right foot and left foot. We go into all fours position. We're going to make sure that our shoulders are above the wrist. And again, in, in yoga, we do a lot of position in our hands. And our normal position of our hands is align the middle finger facing forward. But we are going to align the index finger. So our hands can open a little bit wider. That will help us in our joint and our shoulder joint to don't force when we lift, but also to engage more our muscles on the arms, in the chest, in the upper back, okay? So remember, your index fingers pointing forward and the others on the side. So we're gonna slide the right hand forward, palm facing to the left, curl the toes under on the right foot and slide the left foot. We go kneeling warrior three, engage your tummy. Reach with your hand at the front and your foot at the back. Four breath, inhale and exhale. Well done. Let's go for three. Two, just one more. Release your hand and your leg. Let's go other side. You start to feel pain in your wrist when you are doing these exercises. Make sure that you really press with your fingertips, that you don't let the weight collapse on the wrist. Again, you can watch our, our videos of common mistakes, common mistakes in yoga just to clarify this position of your hands. So let's go other side. Left arm come up, right leg come up, reaching, and we hold for four, three, two, and just one more. Drop your hand, curl the toes under, press with your index, uh, with your fingers and your index fingers pointing forward. Lift your knees, we're going to down dog. Okay, we're gonna go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. And two, and down. Just one more. Don't force your heels to go down. Give it time to your body to release. Now we're going to drop the knees onto the ground. We're going to drop one elbow, other one, and slide your feet. You come into the sphinx pose. Yeah, so your shoulders above your elbows, palms on the ground, resting your legs on the floor. We're just going to go inhale as we drop the head down, chin to chest. Exhale, head come up. Feel really nice in your neck. Again, inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Keep your chest up, your face up, shoulders down. We take just one deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Well done, everybody. Now we're going to lie down on our tummy. Do bend the right leg, catch your foot, and just stretch here your quads. I'm pressing gently your hips on the ground to extend your quads. Let's hold four breaths. 
inhale and inhale. let's go for three and inhale. let's go two and just one more you change just move your face other side, bend the left leg, catch your left foot. If you cannot catch your foot, you always can use a belt or something to help you to push your foot. Let's hold here for four. Inhale. Three. Two. And the last one. Release. Move your hands close to your chest. We push ourselves onto all fours. And then we're going to go on to down dog. From down dog, this time we're going to twist. So we're going to release the left hand. And we're going to twist towards to the right side. We try to reach with our left hand your right ankle, if it's possible, as far as you can go. We take four breaths. Inhale. Express. We sorry. Press with your fingertips on the right hand to give you stability. Let's go two more. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Release. And change. And when you are twisting, make sure that you don't swing the weight towards to the side. You keep the same position of your hips. Inhale and exhale. Place your hand on the ground. Let's go three, two, just one more. Release. Drop your knees back onto the ground and we're sitting back onto child pose. We're going to sit down as much as possible for us. Okay, so we're going to just go here, move your palms together, bend your elbows and move your hands just behind. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Keep pushing the weight backwards. Don't let the weight collapse in your head. Let's go for two. One more. We release. We back again onto all fours and we go onto downward dog. Inhale and exhale, down dog. We just go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down without forcing. And let's go three. That's good. And two without feeling pain and just one more you feel stiff and you might feel tension but no pain look to the front everybody make, make a big step with the right and left foot or you can just walk forward those to the front of your mat we go forward bend good now we lift our chest we're gonna bend the legs and we're gonna lift the heels and we're gonna try to balance ourselves in our big toes. Okay, you can keep your you can keep your hands all the time on the ground, or you can release your hands. Find your stability by pressing your big toes onto the ground. We hold for four. You can keep your hands on the floor. Let's go for three. Squeeze your thighs. Two. And just one more. Drop your hands beside your feet and we go forward bend. Again, if you can fully extend the legs and keeping your tummy close to your thighs, go for it. But if we cannot move the chest close to the thighs, bend your knees and let the torso come closer. And we hold here for four, pressing with the ball of your feet and your toes against the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Two. One, inhale and exhale, roll up your spine all the way. 
Great, roll your shoulders backwards to open your chest, hands on your hips, and we're gonna still with these balance exercises. So what we're gonna do is just raise your heels and balance on your big toes. And down, and again, up, and down, up, and down. And one more, stay up as long as you can. Let's hold for four beats. One, two, three, four, and release. Well done. If you have time, we're going to come back to the beginning. So remember, click in the chapter so it will bring you straight when we start the routine. Or you can put as well the loop. But just to skip the breathing, when you are repeating, go to the chapter and it will bring you to the, to the beginning of the routine. The chapter are below here. <laughs> or you can just go into the description. If it's your time to go, remember how we say goodbye. So we move our hands into prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to your mouth, arms down. Again, inhale. And, and one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back. And we say namaste. Thank you for joining us. Any questions, any comments, please let us know. And hopefully see you soon.